The Indian Air Force IAF, is transitioning from older Russian fighter jets to indigenous alternatives, with the Su-30 MKI remaining the mainstay for decades. The MiG-21 BIS and MiG-29 UPD squadrons are retiring by 2025 and 2035 respectively, with the former transitioning to Tejas MK-1A. These MiG-29 UPG squadrons are expected to be transitioned to the more advanced Tejas MK-2 fighter jets. The IAF plans to maintain its primary fighter aircraft, the Su-30 MKI, built by Russia and India, until 2060-70, with upgrades and modernization programs ensuring its continued effectiveness. Nepali Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal asserts Limpiadura, Lipulek and Kalapani are integral parts of Nepal, while India claims they belong to it. Nepal introduced a new 100 rupees currency note in May 2024, featuring disputed Indian territories, which was contested by External Affairs Minister S. Jaishankar, who claimed New Delhi's position was clear. He also said that while both countries were having talks on boundary matters, by doing something unilaterally, Nepal is not going to change the on-ground reality. Nepal and India's diplomatic ties strained after the Kailash Mansarovar Road was inaugurated in May 2020, leading to a diplomatic note from Nepal, which India argued, lies completely within India's territory. India has urged Nepal to stop unjustified cartographic assertions, respect its sovereignty and territorial integrity, and to return to dialogue. Sikyong Lobsang Songhai, the political leader of the Tibetan government in exile, expressed skepticism about China's plans to deploy Tibetan recruits in the People's Liberation Army near the Indian border. Songhai referenced the Indian security forces' successful performance in Ladakh, where they forced the Chinese to retreat several years ago. This example, he suggests, showcases the potential effectiveness of a motivated force. Songhai interpreted Nancy Pelosi's visit with the Dalai Lama as American support for Tibetan cause, agreeing with Pelosi's statement that Chinese leader Xi Jinping will be forgotten. Songhai views Modi's meeting with Pelosi's delegation as a symbolic gesture of solidarity with the Tibetan people, sending a powerful message to China. The U.S. is promoting the sale of Boeing's F-15EX fighter jet to the Indian Air Force IAF, as part of India's acquisition plan. The next-generation jet, equipped with advanced technologies, can carry multiple missiles. The Indian Navy has reportedly shifted its focus to the Dassault Rafale M fighter jet, despite being asked to consider the F-15EX and Boeing FA-18E-F Super Hornet in its acquisition plan. The IAF is considering eight aircraft for its multi-role combat aircraft, MRCA competition, aiming to revamp its air arm and address its fighter shortfall. The IAF benefits from the F-15EX, a heavyweight fighter suitable for operations against Pakistan and China, due to its advanced capabilities and heavy weapon payload capacity. However, final decision depends on IAF-specific requirements. According to a statement by Russia's National Railway Corporation, Russia has dispatched two trains loaded with coal to India via the International North-South Transport Corridor INSTC, which connects Russia to India via Iran, for the first time. The INSTC, a 7,200 km multimodal route from St. Petersburg to Mumbai, is part of Russia's push for new transport routes amid Western sanctions, shifting trade flows from Europe to Asia and the Middle East. New Delhi has also touted the route as an alternative to China's Belt and Road Initiative. The coal will be shipped by sea along the final part of the route from Iran's port of Bandar Abbas to the Indian port of Mumbai, according to the statement. On Tuesday, Japan declared an emergency in response to what seemed to be a ballistic missile strike by North Korea. The Japan Prime Minister's office provided the information on social media site X. Japan PMO lifted emergency alert due to North Korea's suspected ballistic missile, not reaching Japan, instructing efforts to gather information, provide speedy information, ensure aircraft safety, and take contingency measures. The US, Japan and South Korea strongly opposed unilateral Indo-Pacific changes and condemned North Korea's recent missile launches. They agreed to continue coordination and establish a new coordinating body. They have emphasized the importance of a new era of strategic global cooperation, focusing on trilateral maritime security and capacity building in the Indo-Pacific region. Phase 2 of the Agnavir recruitment process has begun, as announced by the Indian Army. In the Indian Army's endeavors to modernize its requirements processes and guarantee a smooth and effective selection process for prospective applicants, 
This phase represents a critical turning point. The recruitment rally is free, fair, and transparent, with the first phase involving an online common entrance exam conducted nationwide in April-May 2024. The Indian Army has uploaded the results of shortlisted candidates, and an upcoming rally for central districts of Assam will be held at the Misamari Military Station from July 23rd to 27th. from YKS team for now. If you like the information, then please do share and give a like. Thanks for watching.